At CBW Backyard Backfire, Genocide came out to seemingly assist Stitch get the win over Nightmare in the Manson's Playground match. Tonight, Stitch faces off against Morbid for the number one contender spot for the lightweight championship. And at Backyard Backfire, the Eastsiders defended their tag team championship in a four-way tornado tag against the payroll, the porn stars, and the West Coast boys. Pinfall after pinfall was interrupted. No team wanted to lose this match. The West Coast boys would find themselves in an opportunistic situation. Devin Dream rolled Viper up into a pin, getting them the victory and becoming the new Tag Team Champions. Tonight, the Eastsiders will face off against the West Coast Boys in an epic rematch to see if they can once again become Tag Team Champions. audience doing this evening? Y'all doing real good? Man, we got some other people in the audience this evening. Jeez. What's up for you? Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> Anyways, I got a bit of business to get down to. First off, last week, Mr. One Night Stand retired and fought the preacher last week. Now, we got a little stuff in store for the preacher, but unfortunately, the preacher could not show up this week, but Mr. One Night Stand brought an idea to my attention that I thought was a pretty good idea. So next week, here's what's going to happen. Why don't you tell him? I know this <laughs> First off, you shouldn't be cutting the promo before you, you let the master do it. You sit down and you fight. But now. Anyway, now that we're all a little stupider, I haven't listened to PTD over here. Next week, the preacher in a tag team match against the Pagan. Now, we do realize the preacher does not have a tag team partner, and I'm going to let you know he's going to need a little help from the man upstairs, because if he doesn't have a tag team partner, well, it looks like you're fucked in because it's going to be a handicap match. Nobody can understand a fucking thing you're saying. Shut up. Now entering the ring, representing the new porn stars, Davis Dog. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Yeah, man. You know, you look at the main event, you're missing something. I'm a former tag team champion. I should be in that. 
I want my match. You know, Mr. Dahl, you make an excellent point there. You are a former tag team champion, one of the best tag team champions we've ever had here. But guess what? You're still not getting your match. To the back. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. We got off on the wrong foot. You know, you should get a match. I'm going to give you a match. All right? Your match? This <laughs> thank you, this. You know what? I'm getting tired of getting jerked around by you. Go step out my face. You about three seconds from me stopping the arms out your head. Now these two men, these three former tag team partners, now they're in the face of each other. Oh, yeah, see, we got... Bottom line is this. Bottom line is this. I'm tired of this porn star bullshit. You know, you done ran my partner off. Bottom line is back, back in the... I'm not done yet. Son, I owe that microphone. I'll touch him on one. All right, yeah. Bottom line is this. There is no more David's Dong. And get out of my face. <laughs> Finish your promo. Come on. on. So, I would if this retard get out of my face. I'm about to fight me. Yeah. Finish what you have to say. Please. Man, look, a little more of everyone's falling asleep. God. Shut. Look what you did. He's not going to be able to wrestle tonight. He fell asleep. I hope you're in that match because I'm going to whip your ass. Shut the hell up. Is he done? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's not. Yeah, I'll do it for him. I'll do it for him. Now, you know, I come out here, you run my partner off, you do this, you do that. You make me look stupid and small, and I got a new name now. I'm not David Dolly anymore. I'm D-Day. D-Gay. I can't pronounce it. I'm sorry. You can't say it either, so shut up. D-Day. Okay, he's D-Day now. Yeah, well, D-Day wants to run his mouth, you know. That match against Incubus, I have no problems with Incubus. But I'll get in there and whip D-Day's ass if you want me to. I mean, hey, I mean, seriously, that's just another payday for me. Now, on to the belt that Mr. One Night Stand is ha carrying so proudly in the ring right now. This belt, no, it's not the asshole championship which he was awarded last week. Oh, no. This belt was bought by the owner, Mark Brown. This is the new CBW championship. And since Johnny D hasn't defended his belt in the past two shows and doesn't have a match tonight, and I'm not about to give him one, at the next show, if he doesn't defend his belt, he will be stripped of the title. But... We have a number one contendership match, I think, tonight. So, that won't be a problem. At the next show, the winner of the CBW Championship match will receive this brand new belt that they will carry ever so proudly in the ring. And yeah, I'm done. And he is Mr. One Night Stand, ladies and gentlemen, the asshole champion. Give it up for the asshole champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is for the lightweight championship title. Now making his way to the ring, he is the lightweight champion, Viper. Number two, championship backyard wrestling, Cypher!
don't know, Cypher made his debut at the last show, Backyard Backfire, in a single, in a triple threat match against Morbid. Oh yeah, this is what happened. We had our All right, as soon as we get an official for this match, the match will be underway. I love volunteer referees. <laughs> Special oh. guest referee for tonight, Incubus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I remind you, this is for the lightweight championship title. For the lightweights, this is the big shit. This is the gold, man. Oh. Ooh, and a nice little clothesline yes. there by Cypher. Cypher made a very impactful debut. Um, took one hell of a hand fusion at the last show, followed by the VIP splash. Oh! oh! Nice belly to belly suplex by Viper. Huge belly to belly. And look at it all. And Cypher might be out. Viper's not taking it easy on this rookie here. He's a rookie to CBW. But Cypher coming back. Viper not expecting it. It's oh, the spear! He just got a spear, ladies and gentlemen. Cypher speared him out of his shoes for once. Viper's actually wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a point there, too. That's the first time. Cypher whips him off, comes back, a oh, massive clothesline, whole bunch of connection, I felt it. Mind you, this man, he's got a mean little clothesline there. He's messing some people up with that shit. Yeah, I heard rumors in the back that these two don't like each other. <laughs> oh, and a powerbomb. Powerbomb, nice one, too. He's playing textbook. Textbook powerbomb. He's playing some power moves Oh, here. Viper twisting them around, kicking them in the ribs where it counts. Oh, and them kicks that Viper's made. Yeah. Yes, nice kick combination delivered by Viper. That's why he's the lightweight champion. And the pit is blowing away. There goes the pit, and our entrance way is gone. And there's a double backflip. And yes, Viper doing his handspring backflip. It only gets the two count. And the ring crew is going to catch the entranceway. But there's action everywhere, because there's action right inside the ring. So we're going to keep up the pace, and it's a neck breaker delivered. He does some shit out some vision balls or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good match to kick off Civil War here on this very windy day. Piper goes to the top. Oh, and a swan! And a bomb, and I know what that feels like firsthand. One hell of a swan time. Knocking the air right out of Cypher. All he has to do is make the cover. Can he do it? Can he do it? I was on the business end of that swan top ball off a seven foot ladder. One, I know what that feels like. Two. Oh, only a hair away from a three count. Viper almost retained his title right there at that swan top bomb. Tony, I think these two got some history together or something because these really, these two don't really get along well in the back. Oh, Cy oh Cypher. Both men, get, we got a hit taken off and everything. I tell you what, referee ca checking out both members. But oh. Viper just kicking back up. The man's like unstoppable. Looks like he's looking for something. And that he was. Delivers the super kick. Viper has the shoes on. And he's ready to rumble. I'm telling you. No, no, Viper doesn't like wrestling with shoes on, but he's doing pretty well. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a one-time occasion. You can only come to the CBW show and actually see Viper wrestle with shoes. With the shoes. And he's not doing bad either. Yeah. Some crazy shit. He's got the ladder now. It may be tiny, but don't underestimate the size of the ladder. Yeah, it's this is a this is a regular match. I don't know why he's pulling out the ladders. I'm about to get with Mark Brown about that if I'm officiating the rules properly. One. The Viper makes his way to the top, but Cypher ain't having that. He's like, no, bitch, I don't think so. Oh! And he slams him, and that was one hell of a slam. Jeez. Tony, these guys are pulling out all the stops. The future of CBW right here in the lightweight division. All right, we'd like to remind one, the viewers at home. Two, and... We'd like to remind the viewers at home that we do have 911 on speed dial. It's all right. We're all going to be okay. Viper coming back there. I thought, I, honestly, I didn't think Viper was going to get back up after that big slam off the top of that ladder. He's holding it back. You can see it working on him. He catches the foot. Oh, 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 oh! Shit kick right in the face! He didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. You didn't see it coming. But it came, and I'm telling you what, it was great. 
Is Weinberg going up for that? Weinberg! He hits the B! I see, baby! I see! Off the top of the ladder! One, two, three! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and still CBW lightweight champion, Viper! between these two men. You know what? <laughs> they all rethought my decision. Yeah, you guys can have a ladder match again the show. That's the next show. Guess what? The match tonight, though, continues. Both of you, Viper, Cypher, get your asses back out here. Get fined. You just heard it. He's working for the payroll, folks. He just told him. Cypher and Viper. Get, come on, get out of here. Gotta get back to the ring. Finish this match. It ain't over. Boy, I'll make you poor real quick. I tell you what, the payroll, man. Whoa, check out the ref. Man's got some bright hair. He sure does. Hey, 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 that's a payroll official. Hey, 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 like a jockey. Where's your horse? Hey, right here. Oh. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Mike Nolan, uh, Mike, uh, primetime Mike Nolan, he announced it. This match is going to have to restart. We got a payroll official now. He's going to make sure this shit's called straight down the middle. Let's go! No, my house is getting too serious. Yeah, door open. Should be. If not, my keys are in my bag. These men going right back at it. Oh, Cypher slips out of the power bomb position. Oh, goes down, pancakes the man right down on his face. Not gonna look good for his One, pictures. Two, three, right now, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you win the match. And new lightweight champion, Cypher. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is a triple threat match scheduled by the payroll. First, making his way out to the ring, he is the artist formerly known as Davis Dong. B-Day. Oh, 
long time, I got something to say. You guys got your ass, write checks, but you just can't cash. Tonight, playtime is over. All right, and last but not least, the third member in this match, which is the man who scheduled this match tonight, representing the payroll, Prime Time Mike Rowley. <laughs> The very first pinfall wins the match. We're in! We're in! We're in! We're in. We're in. We're in. This match was solely made based upon the fact that D-Day, formerly known as Davis Dong, came out to the ring talking trash to the payroll, but the payroll scheduled him in this match instead of putting him in the main event. And these two are going at it. This might be like a, a brawl for all. Take that. Look on the page. D-Day, pounding on his back, but prime time, Mike Nolan shoves the man off with a version of a spine buster. Version of it, the sharpshooter. D Day in obvious pain as Mark Mike Nolan just stands on and looks on rather. And he's going back to work on D Day. He's getting back in that knee. He possibly may have tweaked during that sharpshooter. And security needs to get the biker. Hey, get on the bike. Take him. Keep your bike, keep the bikes away from the ring. No. Uh, uh, ring oh, God! Hey, no man. Don't say that again. God! Uh, nice uh, slam by Incubus. D-Day into pain right now. Incubus is going to jump to the back there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Mike Nolan on top. I hope he's not going for that frog splash. It could be it. Prime time all the way. Nolan splash to Nolan Village. Oh, he's taking the man to Nolan Village. Yeah, he is. And the ladder fell from underneath of him. He saw that a lot. And I kicked those stomach punches. Incubus. Oh, yes. Bulldog. Prime time right on top of D-Day. That looks like Mike Nolan and D-Day after a long night of drinking. <laughs> yeah, he kicked it. That was funny. <laughs> he should have kicked it. And a power job by Incubus. Oh. Oh. And he's kicking them like they're big sacks of shit. He said he was going to check, you know, catch an ass. Whoa! Oh! Prime time! Beating his forehead off the ground. Oh. And a punch that stomach by D-Day. He gets back up and going after Incubus. Yeah, Davis, I mean, D-Day, trying to make a fight comeback, fighting comeback. It might be working. He finally got the big man down. But can we keep him there? That's the magic question. Do, 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 they both got prime time. Mike Nolan set up for something nasty. DJ making his way to the top. He goes off. Oh, oh. my D-Day. 
Big man coming down for an elbow splash. Or an elbow drop, my bad. Elbow drop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to drop the elbow. Yeah, dude, like a little asshole on my elbow. That's a big asshole right there. Oh, my God. He's going for another pile driver. And he's down. Oh, Mike Nolan. <laughs> he's down for the count. Good. Good. Man, we got the jockey. Take it again. Oh, and a low blow. If you want to stand us nothing about it, him in his orange hair. Hey, watch that load not shot. That's all right. We all think D-Day knows how to do. It's good low. Oh. Oh. Go low, 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 low. And he's going for the F2 and a half. Could it be? Could it be? It's better than Brock Lesnar. Could it be? 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 Could it by the incubus. Oh, that, was the best, that was the best F two and a half we've ever seen him do. <laughs> right, right. Another one bites up. And another one does. Oh, he's oh, going for a sadistic slam. Oh, sadistic slam, it's over. There's no way. Two, three, four. Oh, 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 Championship Backyard Wrestling, Mark Brown. And I'd just like to start off by saying at the last show, Mr. One Night Stand did retire. The payroll is a member short now. We are looking, so all of you superstars in the back, be at your best in every match because the payroll is looking for its newest members. Here tonight, a little disappointed so far. This man right here, the premier player. You'll, you'll, time. You'll, you'll, be, you'll be fine, don't worry. Genocide tonight. Oh, <laughs> since we got uh, prime time right here, uh, he'll take care of you. Don't worry, he'll take care of you. No, you're not having your match. Nope, no match. Sorry. Where did he go? I'm in, uh, I'm in no match later, I'm in, I'm in, no, not the main event, I mean, why waste time, why waste time? Let's just have the match now, alright? You want the match now? Yeah, we, you can have the match now, let's, let's do this, come on, let's go. Come on. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, the following match will be between Nightmare and Genocide. And an extreme match, number one contender for the extreme title. Will the referee please make his way to the ring? Hey, brother, do me a favor. And now making his way to the ring, he was the winner of the old school battle royal. Here he is, Genocide! Yeah. Right there. There you go. 
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this match ought to be a good one. There's uh, two dark, evil, mysterious people and one hell of a hardcore match. That's a good combination, if you ask me. Genocide, of course, making his return. We brought him back for one show. We did not expect him to stay. But, of course, he interfered in the Manson's Playground match, and that's exactly why Nightmare is mad every day. And a Nightmare delivers a huge hip toss to Genocide. Nightmare is one of the most powerful competitors to ever step into the CBW ring. And Genocide, one of the craziest people we've ever seen here in CBW. Last time we haven't seen him yet in CBW. Huge, huge choke toss delivered by Nightmare. Genocide's been going for more. He's been going for a while ever since it was YCW. And last time we really seen uh, Nightmare in action was against uh, Zip Sin, and uh, he got he lost a match, a retirement match. And then he wrestled Stitch at the last show. Yeah, that's true. He did do that. But the point here is, most these, both these guys are mostly YCW superstars that have just came back. Righty, righty. Ah. And Nightmare working away at the arm of Genocide. We actually, these two men were two of the original men, two of the original members of Young Championship Wrestling that used to be Championship Backyard Wrestling. So these men have been in it for the long haul. These men are veterans of the backyard ring. And a huge clothesline. This match is vicious. They're like two big evil mime clowns in the ring beating the hell out of each other. What else could you ask for yeah, in a wrestling event? Nightmare just did one hell of a clothesline knocking, knocking Genocide for a flip. They only got the two counts. It's not enough. Genocide's been through a lot, a lot of stuff in YCW. Oh. I don't think a clothesline is going to finish him off. Oh. Oh. Now both men are down. But genocide, kid, back up. Yeah, a huge slam, and Nightmare goes down hard. Huge, huge body slam. That's a massive man to be lifted for uh, somebody genocide size. But he did it. And Nightmare is not an easy opponent, former YCW champion. And genocide goes for the ladders. Ah. I'm going to say that Genocide is the master of ladders. Genocide up. Huge oh. Huracan Rana. Oh, he hit that Huracan Rana with perfection. <laughs> and Nightmare is down. Now is the slam of the week brought to you by Love. Oh, Red Bull, because it gives you wings! Oh! Dang! What an axe kick to the back of the head! Adios, Don Amigos. And Genocide wants Nightmare to get up, but I don't think he's going to after that. Genocide's taunting the man. You know, Genocide's one evil mother trucker. And a huge spin kick to the face. Genocide, I think, honestly, the man's just trying to take out everybody in the Fed. Nobody? One by one. Total annihilation of one race. Genocide. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. And nobody knows what happened to this man when he left YCW. I don't know. If you ask me, he's probably involved in those Columbine shootings. Oh, oh fuck a monkey. Maybe this should have been unsanctioned match. Nightmare could be bleeding internally after that one. Ah. And you can tell, folks, the wind ah. is blowing here. It's not a very good day for backyard wrestling. The wind's blowing at 90 miles per hour. We're trying to hold on to the ground as we wrestle. Our entranceway is already blown over twice. Ah. The big DDT delivered by Nightmare driving the man's face down into the ground. Is a Oh, Nightmare's applying the weight to the head. He could be trying to put the man out, applying pressure to the clotted artery of the brain, cutting off circulation, leaving the man incapable to breathe. There are still a few CBW fans here today, even though the wind is blowing pretty hard. Little man in the red might be blown off the bench anytime soon. But we still appreciate people coming to the show here today. Yes. 
Oh, big hook kick, catches Nightmare. Nightmare goes down like a tree. It's in the side hole in the back. You can see both of these men are worn down. Both of these men have been brutalized, but both men are still fighting it out. At least, you know, they're giving it all they got. I know. Oh, what could Genocide be going for? Genocide got him up. Oh, oh. Genocide takes you down. <laughs> Jesus, gravity. <laughs> Nightmare kicks out. That was like a DVD variation there. Oh, I dropped. And once again, Nightmare down like a tree in a tornado. As you can see, way. Nightmare's holding the back. I don't think I've ever seen anybody slam Nightmare quite like that. Nightmare might be taking all he's got just to stand back on his own two feet. But he might want to check out because Genocide's making his way to the top. This could be bad things for all people. This could be an omen of things to come. Genocide hits it. He hits it. And that's got to be the end of it. Nightmare, the one asking for this match, but I'm not sure he really wanted it. That's got to be it. The two. And this one is over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Genocide. matchup is for the number one contendership for the lightweight title introducing first from the deepest darkest pit of hell morbid side of the graveyard stitch matchup is underway. It looks like we have Stitch versus Morbid, number one contender for the lightweight title. The winner of this match to face Viper. Stitch is working away and more with both of these men want to face the new lightweight champion Cypher at the next event. And Stitch goes down hard on Morbid. Do 
Looking for the pinfall. A two and a kick out. Stitch has only had a few matches here in CBW so far. The first time he'll be facing Morbid. Morbid, a veteran here in CBW, trying to teach Stitch a lesson. And a huge kick to the stomach. That may have taken the air right out of Stitch. And a huge DDT. Stitch being destroyed so far. And a quick leg drop. That's got to be it. Stitch rolls out of it. And it's a submission hold. Oh. Give him a kick to the back. Oh. 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 And Sish now working away at Morbid. A lot on the line here. The lightweight title is a great title here at CBW. There's lots of competition now. The winner of this matchup to face Cypher or Viper somewhere down the road. Winner of this will face whoever the lightweight champion is at the time. But the main point is the winner of this will be the number one contender as he works away at Morbid. And both of these men have been through a lot so far here in this match. I don't see how any of them have anything left. The match is still early, but a lot of damage has been done. Herbert goes up. And a modified airplane spin, and Morbid goes down. And the two count. And Stitch now takes Morbid back up. That could have been a low blow. No. Possibly in the stomach. And Stitch is in trouble once again. And that's got to be the end of it. One, two, and the kick out. I thought that'd be the end of the match, but Stitch somehow gets back up. And a huge move by Moore, but that's got to be the end. A two count, and Stitch kicks out once again. Stitch only had one match so far. That was the Manson's Playground that he won in the last show. So Stu has not been beaten yet here in CBW. Moore wants to be the first one to do it as he takes his head off the post. And a nice submission. I think Stitch is going to tap out. Can I give it up? And Stitch will not give up. Stitch, Stitch is a competitor. Stitch will not submit. He wants. He couldn't get a hold of Morbid, so it looked like he swung at the referee. And a kick to the face. And Stitch rolls right back out of it. And Morbid is in trouble. I think he just stitched up. And a kick to the back of the neck. And Morbid looks hurt. Not sure he completely got all of it, but he still got some. The damage was done. Morbid now picked back up. Huge DDT. Rolls back up. Double DDT. One more, and his brain could be split. And a triple DDT. And Stitch is statistic. And a two count. A dose count. And Morbid rolls him over and got a close fall. I think he just used everything he had left to roll over Stitch. And now Stitch is just toying with him. Taking all his frustration out on Morbid, bringing some momentum back to himself. Morbid's slow to get up. Stitch definitely has the size and weight advantage here in this matchup. And that's got to be the end of four, but it's over. One. Oh. 
And it's still only a two count somehow. Morbid kicks out. I don't see how this matchup is not over yet. Neither of these men will give up. Oh. And a big chop by Morbid. Oh. Setting him up for something big. Oh. And that's got to be the end of it. Oh. The one, the two, and Stitch somehow kicks out. I don't think this matchup is ever going to end. Stitch in trouble now. This is a seesaw match. Morbid's coming at him. Sunset flip, that's got to be the end. Stitch rolls him over. That's, about, that's probably the most reversals I've ever seen in one match. And Stitch goes up. Give me one for his mom. And the your mom shots from Stitch. Sunset flip off the top. That's got to be the end. A two and Morbid kicks out. And Stitch has Morbid. And Morbid with a big reversal on Stitch. Stitch blocks the suplex. Goes up. And barely goes over. One more time. You can tell Morbid's kind of tired. He's not really connecting. His streak is going by that time. He nails it. And that could be the end of Stitch. Morbid looks like he might be going for a double. But it drives his face straight down into the ground. Stitch up again. And Stitch goes over. And another kick out by Stitch. Go on, Stitch! You can tell both these competitors are very, very tired. Not much strength left to do these moves. I'm surprised they're still hitting them. And the referee goes down. Here comes Genocide! Genocide making a huge impact so far. There goes Stitch down with some kind of an F5. And now he's attacking Morbid. He's already taken out Nightmare here today. There goes Stitch. Down goes Morbid. And Genocide is on fire here in CBW. Just picking apart every single superstar. And now he puts Morbid on top of Stitch. At the last show, I thought maybe he had... One, two, three. And that's the end of the matchup. Your winner by pinfall, Morbid! And I have no clue what the point of this is at the last show. I thought maybe there was some kind of a, a bond between Genocide and Stitch. Well, Genocide helped him win the man the playground match. But he gets shot all over the corners now when he attacks Stitch here today. And it doesn't seem that he appears to be a woman side matchup is a tag team title street fight match introducing first they are the tag team champions the west coast boys and tired having to come to the East Coast and looking at all these ugly bitches around here. Yeah, you heard me. Each and every last single one of you. Back in the East Coast where it's nice, ain't got to put up with this shitty weather, these shitty ass looking women, you know. Now, we got to put up with these two fucking punks 
coming out here and wanting to do something. And let me tell you, East Coast, East Siders, whatever the hell your name is, get out here. Let's get this son bitch on. And their opponents, the East Siders. Take a look at this match. You have Devin Green, of course, with his partner, the former lightweight champion Viper, taking on Cold Hard Cash and the Extreme and the CBW champion Johnny Delicious. Yes, at the last show, of Backyard Backfire, the West Coast boys screwed every single tag team here in CBW out of the titles by pinning each other in the four-way tag title matchup. The West Coast boys proved that they were smarter at the last show, but here today the East Coast will get their rematch. Yes, the East Siders finally get their hands one-on-one -on -one with the West Coast boys. Finally met it up. Coast, the two Coast Clash, right here. And we'd like to remind the viewers that uh, this, this matchup is a street fight. Pinfalls do count anywhere, but don't go so far out of the ring that the camera has to move very far because we don't have a battery today. <laughs> That's right, East Coast versus West Coast. The two sides clash. It's a big civil war here at CBW today. Are you ready? Ding, ding, ding. Let's get this match underway. And it looks like Viper will start out against Johnny Delicious. Yes, Johnny D. The power behind the east side. And they got Kohar Cash with the quickness. Johnny D, the CBW champion and the extreme champion, looking to take him all the gold again here today. And Johnny D just shoves off Viper like he's nothing. It's been a rough day for Viper here today, losing his lightweight champion. Yes, Viper's already been in a championship match tonight, like you said. He lost his lightweight title earlier tonight. Guess we get to see if he can defend the tag title and come out on top. Wouldn't be too good for Leopard to lose both titles in one day. But the West Coast boys were very smart on the last show to pin each other. And a big vertical suplex delivered onto Viper by Johnny D. Johnny D, the number one man in the entire league as of right now. Oh, and he did a... He just launched him. Slingshot. Slingshot him right out of the ring. And as you see, Viper is holding that ankle that was injured earlier in the first matchup in the lightweight title match. And now he's beating Viper with the ladder. The ladder. Oh, throws the ladder right down the injured leg. I think that ladder's bigger than Viper is. Viper not, might not be able to walk after this match. And this could be the end of his ankle. And he's stumping. Stumping. And stumping. He's going to break his ankle, in, his ankle in half. Uh-oh. There's a drug dealer in the house. We got to sell for people. And Devin Dream, not, not really helping his partner, just standing over there. And Viper back up now, working away at Johnny Delicious. Yeah. And Viper, Hello? Viper hitting him with the kick and coming Yeah. We're still here. Devin's now guys, taking the ladder. We got one himself. last match that Gary's in and I'll be home, He's doing right? it. He's doing it on his ankle. Ladder, love you. Oh, oh, ladder. big leg drop on the ladder, onto the... You want to give it up, man? Johnny D's ankle. There you go. It seems to me like there's a little bit of tension between the... Ah. Now, Viper finally going over making the tag to his partner, ah. Devin Dream. Let me tell you something about Devin Dream. This man has done it all. He was a surfer over there on the West Coast. Then he came back to watch CW, then he went back to surf again, but for some reason the shiny shirts and khakis didn't fit in with the surfers. So he came back over here to CBW, and now he's one half of the tag team champions. He's using that ladder to ram it into the head of Johnny D. 
All right, now he's setting up Johnny D for something doggy style. Oh! Ah. And a huge kick ah. to the back. Ah. Is it just me, or is he, did he just bring it to him West Coast style? Yeah, that was West Coast style, straight from the backside. I'm telling you. They're going for a double arm lock now. Got him blind ah. wrench and a double kick to the gut. As Mr. One Night Stand would say, the west side is the left side. Nice tag ah. team moves being delivered by the West Coast boys. Johnny D looking a little out of it. Oh. And Johnny D delivering some punches. Takes the man down. He ain't going to win a punching contest with Johnny D. Ah. And Viper in trouble once again. Yes, Johnny D finally taking control of the match. And here comes Cold Hard Cash. Cold Hard Cash has got a hold of him. Oh. And he destroys the spine of Viper. And Cohart Cash delivering one hell of a slam. All right, that ain't good. That ain't good. And the ladder straight into the stomach of Viper. And then a power bomb delivered by Cohart Cash going to Viper. Viper's down. I don't think he's getting back up. Doesn't look good for these guys. And here comes Johnny Delicious. I think Viper needs a tag. Yes, if I was Viper right now, I'd make the tag out. And Johnny D throws Viper over. It looks to me like he wants Devin Dream to enter this match. Johnny D working away at Devin Dream. Yeah. Devin Dream with a big knee into his face. And Devin Dream goes up and down. Big shoulder breaker delivered on the uh, Devin Dream. And Viper makes the save. goes Devin Dream. He goes around and down he comes. And this could be the end of this one. And a two and it's a big kick out. Waver just watching on to his partner. West Coast not looking too good. Their tag team titles could be could be taken away here any second. Johnny D now applying some pressure to him. <laughs> Devin Dream's head, trying to put him out. And those huge arms wrapped around the little head of Devin Dream. Oh! But Devin Dream's not down yet. He delivers the jawbreaker to the big man. That might be just enough to give him the time he needs to make the tag. Or to come back, one or the other. But he's going the wrong direction. I don't think he knows where he is. He's got the title. But this is a straight fight. Anything goes. There ain't really enough. Hey, clobbered him with the title. Even if it wasn't a street fight, the referee's too stupid to do anything anyway, so. And Devin Dream doing a little run and splash of Rui. He's looking for something. He's found something. He's got the ladder. You might want to set that up there, buddy. It's not prop. It's going to go out from you because you're stupid. And Devin Dream goes up anyway. And down with a huge elbow drop. Yes, nice elbow drop delivered by Devin Dream. One, two, and Cole Harkash makes the save. Ah. Devin Dream's got him by the hair. Got him like he just don't tap. Ah. What's Devin Dream doing? A little funny kick. Don't know how to call it. I call it like I see it. And here comes Viper back into the ring now. 
And Viper, hand spray back flip, oh. and he hits it. And that could be the end. Now Viper taking his turn with the ladder. But Davis Dong throwing him off balance because of his big hit in the way. Big so he, <laughs> he does it. Oh. And a huge diving headbutt. And that could be the end of Johnny D. That connected quite well. It's, it's not very big, but still. A lot of punishment. Now Viper's taking the ladder to the other side. Viper's already had one match here today. Oh. And a quick leg drop from Viper. One, two, Only a two count, just not enough to keep the big man down. Oh, super kick, super kick. It's a super, super kick. And Johnny D has been isolated for a while. All right, both members of the West Coast boys are in this now. Uh, double, 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 super. Oh. And down goes Johnny D. If they want to keep the big man down, they're going to have to uh, use the teamwork just like they just did there. they got to play it smart. And Cold Hard Cash breaks it up. Speaking of smart, I think West Coast already proved how smart they were on the last show. Outsmarting not only this team, but also the payroll and the porn stars. Oh, Devin Dream delivering a leg drop over top the bleachers for the fans. Poor fans don't have a place to set. Johnny D making good use of the benches. And not only did they a uh, huge low blow, but not only did the West Coast boys win the tag team titles, they also ended an era. Porn stars so upset that we have rumors that they did split. So the end of an era, the porn stars are going here. CBW thanks to the West Coast boys. Johnny D just sent on his head by a vicious super kick, sending him off the bleachers. And Devin Dream going off with another flip and splash. And Viper now tagged back in. Johnny D's already faced Viper and Devin Dream both two times. He's been isolated for a while. Johnny G makes that good dead bet. Johnny D needs to make the tag. Viper doing a suicide crossbody plunge. And I don't think Cold Hard, I don't even know if Cold Hard Cash will get back into this matchup by the time it ends. He could be looking for that submission hold. If he hooks this on, it could be over for Johnny D. Uh, now you want to give it up? <laughs> but Johnny D looks like he weighs a little bit too much for Viper. Viper can't hold it in. But damage was still done. Dun, 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 dun. And Johnny D trying to fight back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's got him up. He's powering the man up. Look at the power of Johnny D. Delicious. He throws him in bed into the ring. And Viper is in trouble. He could have just been broken in half by the big man. Nobody has power like Johnny D. Not even Mark Henry. Nope. Mark Henry ain't got nothing on Johnny D. Vicious. Mark Henry's a Johnny D. Vicious wannabe. Johnny D going to the top. Going to the top. And that board could, it might break. And a huge splash. Big splash onto Viper. That could be it. Whoa. I've seen big splash before. That was a double big splash. Thank goodness for Viper. His partner makes the save. Oh, oh. Nice foot, ball out, drop kick. <laughs> and Johnny D's in trouble. Oh. And now Johnny D's head will bounce right off the post. Oh, very, very nice move delivered by Viper. I don't know how to call it. But it was some sort of, sort of flip over, grab your head, you're in the ground, and it hurts a lot kind of thing, don't it? And Viper now going on top. Johnny D is down with a chair. Oh. VIP onto the ladder post, onto Johnny D. Only, only in CBW. And here comes Devin Dream with a board. Devin Dream's got a board. He's trying to wake up his partner. He says, hey, hey Viper, I got a board. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, the big man. I think I've seen this before. They call this the anal plunger. 
He's gonna get it. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit, he kicked the board. And Cold Hard Cash breaks this thing up. All right, get away from the small shrubbery. And a huge suplex. Devin Dream is down. Mike Berber here with the ladder, waiting on Johnny D. They were the two legal men, and a ladder into the stomach of Johnny D. Could have cracked the ribs, could have cracked the ribs. And the ladder into the back of Cold Hard Cash. Yes, Cash, with the ladder. It only dazes him a little bit. And a kick to Mike Berber. Nobody wants to lose, nobody wants to lose. And another ladder shot to Viper. All right, they're taking it to the outside of the ring. Hopefully not on the shrubbery. And a huge pile driver to Viper. Ah. I'm about to end this one. Ah. That's Steve's oh. interest where I do. Uh, John. Johnny D needs to get a hold of this match and try to take some orders because it's getting wacky. And here comes Johnny D. All right, take it back in the ring. Get away from the shrub. Uh, 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 <laughs> wait for the shrubbery. Uh, not yet. And Johnny D working away at Devin Dream. Hey, uh, try to keep a little order. There's a street fight. What can I do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Could be your last CPW or <laughs> something bad it does happen. Oh, Power Bob on Devin oh. Dream. <laughs> Power Bob on Devin oh. Dream. Say it again. Power, Power Bob, Bob on Devin Dream. Dream. And Cash with a spin kick to Viper. Nice spin kick. This has one, been one heck of a match. Never before. Have I seen some of this crazy crap? And Viper just might stay down for the rest of the show. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the East Siders, they've been waiting a long time to get this shot at the West Coast Boys. And vice versa, West Coast Boys have been looking to get a hold of the East Siders. There's no out war here today. I knew it was going to be nasty. Oh. Go hard cash with money his money making himself. Yep. And Viper will break it up. And Viper, he has a sleeper hold hook. And a closed line. Cold Arcash, see the numbers game is coming into effect now. And Cold Arcash showed his strength. I think Johnny Dean Viper is still the legal man. <laughs> Johnny D has the man hooked up. Looks like a version of the torture rack. And down goes Viper. That was a new variation. I think he calls out the twist and shout. And they're calling for the end. What the hell's that about? Devin Dream goes up. He's got Devin Dream up. Oh, and down. down. He just broke the ribs of Devin Dream. Devin Dream's coughing up blood. I think he's pissing blood too. Did he shit himself? One, two, three. And this matchup is over. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match and new. Tag Team Champions, The East Siders, Gold Hard Cash, and Johnny D. Vicious. Winner. And after the screw job on the last show, The East Siders have got their titles back. Johnny D, three titles. The East Siders finally winning back their Tag Team Championship. Thank you for watching. Check out the show that followed CBW Civil War, Day of Sin. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.